The story of honey. Liquid gold, sweet and fiery. Honey is the product created by nature's bees. One of the oldest foods that humans have ever consumed, its sweet flavor and soothing consistency has drawn the attention of both humans and animals, making honey one of nature's favorite foods. Throughout time, honey has been seen from a divine food to a natural health remedy. But what lies behind the golden jar of honey on your table today? What was our human connection to it? And how will we use honey in years to come? Welcome to Epistle 99. Honey is known worldwide, and with a word for honey in almost every language, it is evident that we have come to adore nature's very own confectionery. Our connection to honey is older than we may think. In fact, our relationship with honeybees goes back thousands of years. Cave paintings in Spain from 7000 BC show the earliest records of beekeeping. These paintings serve as reminders of how over time our understanding of honey has stayed the same. Honey is the only food that includes all the substances necessary to sustain life, composing 80% sugars and 20% water. This means that instinct would have guided ancient humans to wild beehives, reaching through the stings and the stabs for a taste of the sweet golden liquid. Ancient religions valued honey and the honeybee for the divine work that they completed. Since most cultures saw the bees as messengers to and from the divine, honey would have been more appreciated than it is today. In the ancient Greek Olympics, honey was used as natural doping. Mixing the wild honey with water, athletes would consume the beverage, enhancing their performance. Evidence of honey being prescribed as medical treatment dates back as far as ancient Mesopotamia. The thick, nutrient-rich substance works as a perfect antiseptic and is inhospitable to bacteria. This led ancient doctors to apply honey to seal wounds and cover burns. In 11th century Germany, honey was a high form of currency. It was valued for sweetening beer, so much so that feudal lords ordered their peasants to make them payments of honey and beeswax. In the 1830s, bee beards became a questionable way to draw attention to honey products. Honey vendors would cage a queen bee under their chin, causing the hive to swarm around her, mocking the appearance of a beard. Honey is now a common food we walk past in the shopping aisle. From bear-shaped honey bottles to couple pet names and even cosmetics, honey is labelled everywhere. Perhaps, even though we stick honey on everything, we have come to forget its true power. With a rise in confectionery and refined sugary foods, it's easy to forget the golden gift natural honey truly is. With bee populations declining, it is our job to find our connection to honey again, re-establishing our relationship to it ethically and with great respect to its makers. If you enjoyed the story of honey, then leave a like below and subscribe for more stories. This is Epistle 99. Thank you for watching.